Hey guys, what's up? My name is Wesley Snyder. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another uh, kinetic moped video. Uh, earlier this week I broke off the compression release and I've ordered another one from Moped Division. Great company I use all the time. And we're going to install it today. And also before I get started, I want to let you guys know it says that 97% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get a better look at what I'm talking about here. This is the one focus. Focus. Okay. This is the decompression lever. And uh, this little plastic bit. You know, they snapped off on me. And uh, let's take a look at what I got here to uh, replace this. Like I said before, I got this from a company called uh, Moped Division. Seems like the only company that carries kinetic parts. It's funny they call it a choke lever, but so this is uh, this is it. And I'm kind of curious because this is an original kinetic part. I believe the bag even says uh, genuine kinetic. I wonder if this has been replaced before because this one doesn't look like this one. But this part is correct. So. There it is. See here, we I paid um, $4.99 and $5.50 to ship it. I paid more for shipping than I did for part. Hmm. Okay, let's get started on this, and we'll just uh, let's look at the tools we're going to need today. Let's see, we're going to need. Um, well, I guess that's it. Just a Phillips screwdriver. All right, now. You don't have to do this, but what I've done is I've loosened off these control uh, you know, clamps, the screw clamps, just so we can get a better idea of what we're uh, what we're dealing with here. Take uh, your Phillips screwdriver, remove this one Phillips screw, fine thread. Fine thread metric, uh, probably. Don't lose that. Oh, neighbors are playing with their toys. And then this, this little piece, kind of pops off. Little fuzzies on there. Okay. Next, you think you might be able to get that thing on there without pulling it out of the cable, but pulling the cable out of the housing, I mean. But. We're not going to try. We're just going to pull the cable out just like that. Okay, now you've got your cable out. This little guy is going to go on here like this. And there's like a little uh, block that kind of stops here on this little, on the housing. See? So, feed the cable in through the little block. Let's pull pull on the cable there it kind of pops in make sure you're over the housing like I was talking about and you don't want it up like this you want it, to, it kind of snaps in you can feel it it's flush and then uh, reinstall the screw maybe 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 All right, give it a little test. All right, that's it. And now in my case, I'm gonna have to roll these controls back into the proper orientation, tighten them down. Well, if you do decide to do it like I do and loosen off the controls, 
there's two screws, Phillips screws here and here, and then the brake lever is a uh, 10 millimeter. So and there he goes again with that thing. It's a big old four wheeler, I suppose. All right, the only thing left to do now is give this thing a test and see how well, see if it'll start. So on this uh, particular bike, you turn the key on, slick it to run, push in on the compression release, and then pedal. Alright guys, that's it. It's a quick one this week. It's pretty easy. Uh, you probably could figure this out without this video, but I was doing it so I thought I'd make a video. Alright you guys, make sure you hit a, the like button. And like I said, 97% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, you guys, take it easy. Bing, 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 ding, 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 ding. Oh, God, what a weird position. Oh.